So I bought this card here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, for some time I will at least mine with it and we will look at the performance. Uh, I haven't really seen any reviews when it comes to the mining uh, capabilities of this card here. So that will actually be interesting because I think that will really decide the price of this card here in the future and the overall availability of the card. And nowhere on the box I can like see LHR and stuff like that, even though I haven't really looked at the box. So I will use uh, Night Slash Quick Miner because it will at least clock itself and give us some good indications of performance mining Ethereum. And as we can see here, this is out of the box, I haven't changed anything. And uh, then we get around 12.5 mil hashes at 72 watts. So yeah, I don't really think that is too good <laughs> for the price. So I'm running the overclock tune in uh, Quick Miner from Nice Sash, and then it like cycles through all of the settings to either find the most efficient speed and like clock settings, or the highest speed with I guess the best uh, clock settings and then like power usage to get the highest speed. Uh, so I've set it to the highest speed, so looking at the temps at the card, it's been running for a while and seems to be stable now, is the VRAM is 30 degrees, so I can't really see that it's getting used really hard, uh, because the, the room temperature here is 25 degrees, so just 5 degrees over amb ambient air. So it's cranking a little bit, as we see fan level 100% because it's in the testing phase, but uh, even though if you were to like put the fans down it's still running really cool i guess so the results are in we didn't really seem to increase the mega hash rate any significantly from like 12.5 to 12.6 or 7 but we went from 70 watts down to 47 watts so at least our efficiency got a little bit better and here you can like see the results. And uh, so yeah, the car is not really working hard at all. And uh, we can see it and ramps the fans up to, or we were at 20%, so down to 30%. And they also maybe turns off uh, when it gets cold enough. And we can see the e ramp temperature is like 15 degrees over ambient air temperature. So yeah. A really bad hash rate on this card, so I guess that is good for a lot of gamers. I can't really see why you would want to buy this for mining. The efficiency isn't like all terrible, but considering the price and such, I can't really see anybody wanting to buy this to actually mine with. So yeah, we will maybe have to wait for like a LHR workaround if that's ever a thing with this card. I'm not sure, maybe it's even a LHR workaround right now. That the, I don't know about and that doesn't work with nice as quick miner. I'm not sure. But mining with this at the moment would maybe give uh, 40 cents a day, basically nothing. And if we were at the really good times with high, like uh, Ethereum payouts when it comes to the network and also a higher price for cryptocurrency itself, we would maybe see 80 cents max. So that will mean that return of investment, I guess, is over a year. So I'm not giving up just yet. So we will start the benchmark here and maybe we can find some other algorithm that will be a higher payout with this car. So we will let it benchmark now and I will come back with the results, of course. So it, if it picks the most earning algorithm itself, it sets itself to BMV free mining like souls. Uh, of course we can probably adjust the settings a little bit to maybe get even better numbers out here. And we went from like 40 cents a day to like 56 cents a day. So still, yeah, fairly low number here. But here we can see the Grashmos Tiger Hashimoto, 12.7. 
green blah 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 set hash 25 souls bnb free 16 point souls uh digression yeah that's one yeah kukudo cycle yeah yeah and of course like um kapo uh raven coin 12 mil ashes